Holy shit, people. The shift is over. Thank God. Guess what? Air conditioner still not fixed. That's right, people. The AC still busted. We have no air conditioning upstairs. It was another day of 80 some odd degree weather in the help desk. Literally, you know what it smells like up there? It smells like, like, a, like a 10 year old's gym socks left in the locker in gym class. Like it smells like a, a gym locker. Like a disgusting locker room after the jocks came back after playing hardcore football after having playing in the 32 Celsius weather and then they all stripped down and just like fire the shit on the floor. Well, if you take a great big hoot off of that, that's what it smells like upstairs. It's fucking gross. It's disgusting. It's bad. It's gross. They got to fix this air conditioning. Nobody during the day called it in. So we called it in tonight and all we got was, oh, they didn't show up. Well, better luck tomorrow, I guess. Like, are you friggin' for real right now, son of a bitch? Oh, well, it is what it is, and the shift is over. I want to go home. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, like, it's so bad up there right now that the, uh, the cleaner came up, and even she made a comment. Like, she was like, what's that smell? Is something rotting up here? Of course, me being the smartass that I am, I said, yeah, us. <laughs> like, we're literally sitting and stewing in our own sweat, like, pretty freaking gross. <laughs> but it is what it is, so we'll just friggin' give her, you know? And that's what she, that's what the cleaner said. She's like, uh, honestly, if I were you guys, I would boycott work because of this. She goes, this is not right. And I'm like, you're telling me, like, I had a shower this morning. Then I already feel like, like halfway through the shift, I felt like I didn't have a shower. I feel really disgusting right now. Like I'm gonna be going home and having another shower and then I'm gonna turn on the laundry because I really like hot water. Is this guy crossing or what's happening? Okay. All right, let's give her stink. So yeah, like it's, I don't know. Like I don't know if there's anything in the health and safety about, and I gotta look into that. And be like, listen, like these terms are bad. Like it was bad like yesterday when it was 30, 32 C outside. It was 92 F in the office. Probably saying, Adam, why are you using two different units? Well, because my car tells me the temperature in Celsius and the office's thermo thermostat, thermometer, whatever, it will tell us the temperature in Fahrenheit, which is dicked because up here in Canada, we don't use Fahrenheit. But it's jacked because my thermometer at home, like my uh, thermostat, sorry, I have my drip tip from my, my e-cigarette in my mouth there, I was reloading it. But um, my thermostat at home measures everything in Fahrenheit too, and I don't know how to convert it over to Celsius. All I know is 68 in the winter is perfect for me. It's not too hot, not too cold, and the gas bill is not too expensive. Oh man, I'm just getting that. Oh, it's just, it's so gross. <laughs> I, I, I just, oh man. I'm glad the shift is over and I'm hoping tomorrow they friggin' have this AC shit under. Like we put it on the board yesterday that we called facilities management about it and there's the ticket. Nobody during day staff called it in and said, hey, can we get a repair dick over here? Because all the facilities management has to do is call the contractor. And like I said, it's a belt slipping off when the AC disengages. To me, that's no different than on my, my Dynamark tractor, my lawnmower, when the belt would slip off, when I disengaged it and the belt would slip off because I didn't put the little guard thing on it. The little belt, uh, belt anti-slip guard thing. And I fixed that and the belt doesn't fall off anymore. Well, to me, if you build some sort of a, a belt catch, on the AC then it wouldn't slip off. The problem is the belt catch broke or the tensioner broke. One of the, I think it was the tensioner he said that broke. So when it disengages the belt's flopping around like a flounder, skips a couple teeth and then falls off that son of a bitch and then you got no AC until somebody goes up and puts the belt back on. So that's pretty uh, pretty lame but what can you do about it right? Go to work, get the paycheck, come home, bitch about it, rinse and repeat. It's 
pretty bad when you hear the contracted cleaners, not even part of the company, they're contracted in to clean the buildings at night once we leave. And they can't even get our maintenance team to fix any shit over there. Like, there's been a toilet leaking apparently for the past two months, and they haven't called a plumber in to like do what they gotta do to make it not leaking anymore. So that's pretty fucky, you know? That, that That's big time fucky right there. Oh yeah, Oreo's still in his crate. Oh shit. Better go home and let Scruffy out. Oh, and it's garbage day. Right on. Got a lot of shit to get rid of. A lot of shit. So we'll have to uh, gather that all up, bring it out to the garage, put it in the bin. Is this week recyclables? I don't think so. Oh yes it is. But I don't really have any, so we'll skip blue box day, but I'm definitely gonna have to fire out my shit. And for fuck's sakes, do I ever have to throw a piss like something fierce right now? Oh my god. So I was reading on the um, the friggin' uh, Facebooks there uh, by a group called I Fucking Love Science, and apparently they're gonna be genetically modifying mosquitoes to produce mostly male mosquitoes. And like when a, when a female gives birth, right now it's about a 50 50 ratio of male to female. And the problem with that is, is the female ones are the ones that bite, right? What they do is they draw blood and then use that blood to make their, their, their egg sacs. And then they go find a shallow, undisrupted puddle of water and they fucking poop them out. And then like the eggs hatch and you got more mosquitoes and it's 50-50, male, female. Male mosquitoes never bite. They have no need for blood. All they do is bang out the female and then die. So what they want to do is they want to produce 95% male mosquitoes and 5% females to lower the population of them to gradually make them extinct. And the big question I had was, okay, what's this going to do to the ecosystem? Like, there's a lot of creatures that eat mosquitoes as, as food. Like, what's going to happen? And according to the scientists, it'll be a little bit of a problem, but it will resolve itself in the long run. So apparently some other species will take over. What, like black flies or hornets or something? Because that's what I need is fucking hornets running around. It's not... It's bad enough we got them everywhere already. Like, we don't need any more. Ow. Oh, well. My one big regret right now. Not going for a piss before I left the office. Holy fuck, does my friggin' unit ever sting. Oh dear god. I don't even think I'm gonna make it in the house. I'm probably gonna piss my pants right fucking now. Yup. Yup, totally pissing my pants. Oh shit. Oh, thank God for backyards. Oh, just totally hosed mine down. Yup. Oh, there was a bullfrog sitting over here, but he frigged off on me. I don't know where he went. When he frigged off, probably saw me coming, didn't trust me, or he knows I'm letting the dog out. I don't know. But there was a bullfrog here. Frig him. Hey, let's let the dog out, because that's what we gotta do. If he would quit pushing on the crate, it would make it easier. Or he didn't shit in there, no. This time you better go shit outside, you little fucker. There, he's back in. I told him three times to go poop. Three times he ran down to the end of his leash and faked it probably. If he shits on that carpet again tonight, this little fucker's gonna have to wear a diaper. I shit you not, I will make him wear a diaper until he smartens the fuck up. Or I'll just keep crating him. I'll just let him live in his crate and let him out when I want to. And then that's it. Like, if, I, if he is gonna be that much of a princess, what are you fucking looking at over here? What? What is it? What are you hunting? Stop hunting! You have... You better not. Like, he is totally hunting something. Yup, totally hunting something, and I have no idea what it is. But he better not be hunting for a spot to go shit. Because I'm telling you, I'm done with that nonsense, buddy. Done with it. Done with it. Like, when I let you outside, you should go potty, not poop in the house. When you were out an hour before, I let you out again. Because if I find out you do that, I'm going to be pissed. What are you looking for? I really don't understand this dog. But then again, who really does understand their dogs, you know? They're fucked. Because honestly, that's what happened with him last night. Got home from work. I let him out at midnight. He went out. He took a, he took a piss. I thought he pooped. He looked like he pooped. Maybe he faked it. I don't know. 
I let them back in the house and I go upstairs, I grab some laundry, I come downstairs and I look on the carpet and there's three great big fucking turds. And it's like, he was just outside, totally could have had a crap outside. No, no, oh, it's raining and I'm a little princess puppy and he freaking shits in the house. Like, he never used to do that. He used to be such a good dog. And now he's just turning into a little idiot. I don't know. I'm going to have a shower later on. I'm going to fire up this laundry now. Fuck it. Oh, pro tip if you ever get sprayed by a skunk in your washing machine, instead of adding friggin' uh, fabric softener, add vinegar. Yeah, add vinegar. Deodorizes your clothes and gets rid of all the skunk smell. Works pretty good too. I use it all the time, mind you, because I find it really deodorizes the clothes and it really gets the soap residue off and all that shit, even though I use a liquid soap, but whatevs. Oh, it's so nice and cool in the computer room right now. It's like unbelievable. It's damp. Fucking damp as shit. Did my computer reboot again? Son of a... Oh, dick. Just catapulting shit across the... Where are you? Water cap. Don't need that kind. Oh, frig. And tomorrow we gotta go vote. Hmm. Yeah, it's really nice in here. And the only thing I got running is that fan right there. And it is blowing in some nice, cool, clean air. Probably open this up a little bit more. And let some more cool, clean, clean air in. And then we'll put you on low. I need to clean that. Holy shit. And uh, let that blow some air around the room. And then it'll get really nice in here. Like really, really, really nice. And I like that kind. Like a lot. Because I can't stand it when it's like super fucking muggy, especially in the room where I play on my computers. Don't like that very much. No! All right, so I've been home for about an hour and a bit. Uh, I go downstairs about, it's currently around 20 after one. Went downstairs about a half an hour ago, so I got home at about 12, 23 p.m. I let the dog out, as you saw and he wouldn't go poop. He just, I kept telling him, go for poop, and he'd run back out into the yard and like pretend to like fake squat and then come back to the door. And I tell him, go again, come back to the door. Go again, come back to the door. So it's like, okay, he doesn't have to poop. That's fine. And I go downstairs to change out the laundry because it was about 30 minutes. It's all the cycle takes on the washer, 30 to 40 minutes. So I go downstairs to change out the laundry and what do I see? Two really big shits on the carpet. Little fucker shit in the house. What a prick. So I cleaned that mess up and um, basically I was looking for a candle because the guy, okay this is the Nemesis clone. It's the brass Nemesis clone. Doesn't look brass. It was brass at one point. Now it's just tarnished shit because I don't have any polish for it. Whatever. But um, the problem is the firing pin keeps working its way out and when that happens you gotta like freaking take the bottom button off, tighten the pin down, put the button back on, takes a bit but she just fogs right now. It's, it's crazy. Like, it's just a... That's a one second pull. Like, it's off the charts awesome. But anyway, so I clean up the dog shit and I just put some uh, deodorizer all over the carpet to get the smell of shit off of it, like I do every time the dog shits on it, and I created the dog. I was like, fuck that, I'm creating him. Even though I'm home, I'm creating him because he'll come up here and he'll hang out for a bit, and then he'll just go downstairs and shit. So, fuck that, I don't need that. He can spend tonight in his crate if he's gonna be bad puppy. But like, fuck, he just started doing this. It's like he's rebelling or something. Probably is, who knows, dog's fucked. <sighs> I just don't have time for a dog, I guess. I don't know. Fucking sucks. But, whatever. But uh, I was looking for a candle because I was going to put wax on the firing pin to make it stay still so it didn't unscrew. But uh, then I posted it on uh, Juice Junkies, one of the forums on Facebook for vapors, about the problem. And I was told by a... Where the hell is he now? Stand by. Stand by. The post got huge. Uh, a 
Where the frig is it? Uh, buh, buh, buh. There he goes uh, by Jason Long from the Juice Junkies. He uh, told me he's like he's like invest in magnets. Well, I had magnets for this, which are now in this, and this firing pin is just so much easier to friggin' press. And so far, I haven't had any problems with the button backing out and, and getting snagged. It fires every time I pull the pin, and it just chooches like a mean machine. So if you have a nemesis, get yourself some magnets. Makes a whole still have vapor in my throat. Makes a whole new ball game out of this thing. It just makes it just awesomer than frig. Yeah, I don't recall ever blowing that much smoke when I had a cigarette. Never. Never in a million years. But, um, good thing this is just vegetable glycerin and flavoring, eh? Big time bonus. Because if this had nicotine in it, I'd be so high right now on nicotine. And uh, anybody who's new to vaping, when you get down to six milligrams, and then one of your friends gets on vaping and goes, Oh, dude, you gotta try this juice. And they hand you their, their 18 milligram juice, and you take a toot, and you, you go for the big massive lung hit, and you get that 18 milligrams in there, you get lightheaded. Well, that's what happens when you vape with one of these with nicotine in it. Well, six milligrams isn't too bad. Three is easier. But a 12 will get you some freaking stoned. Big times. Oh, yeah. But anyway, people, I think I'm gonna call her quits for tonight. Um... I think I'm going to go to bed and get up early tomorrow and deal with shit. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to stove them. Uh. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.